let us understand about diesel power plants its merits and demerits how the selection of site is done its applications and also let us go through the elements of diesel power plant first of all we have different resources for generating the electrical energy wherein diesel electric power plant is also a type of power plant where electricity can be generated using the diesel engine so here a diesel engine obtains energy from a liquid fuel that is nothing but the diesel and it converts into mechanical energy and uh, as we know an alternator or a dc generator which is coupled mechanically to the diesel engine converts the mechanical energy into electrical engine this is how generally diesel power plant work now what is the use of the diesel engine what are the merits and demerits let us understand of the diesel engine now when we see merits and demerits the design and the installation is quite simple compared to other power plants the construction foundation and buildings are cheap and very simple in nature and they require very less place compared to any other power plants there is no ash handling involved as we discussed in the steam power plant and also the capital cost per kilowatt is required is also very less so fire hazards will be less and variety of fuels such as residential fuel oil heavy stock oil can also be used so they are very simple in operation and requires very opera less operating time so quick generation of power compared to steam power plant there are certain drawbacks also the as we know the diesel cost will be high hence the high running cost so whenever there is a overload conditions because diesel power plant will be generated at a smaller rates so under overload conditions it's very difficult to operate so the plant will generate only small power generally the cost of lubrication are very high in, and also maintenance will be high now also we have site selection applications of a diesel generally the site selection as we all know it should be it can be selected near the load center depending upon what is the land availability and fuel availability we all know that diesel is available now on almost all the places so it can be selected nearby as per the requirement and also transportation facility will be looked after distance from the population and type of land available these are the different site selection process when we look for the applications generally diesel power plants are considered as peak load plants what do you mean by peak load plant see when we say hydro power plants thermal power plants they generate as per the design and structure they require some power to generate they are all normal base load power plants diesel power plant when we can say when there is an important occasion going on and the demand is high peak so keeping that in mind in order to supply the power continuously these power plants can be used now also you, you, you people would have come across various stand uh, on wheels diesel power plants wherein uh, for the chow trees for the different occasions the energy will be supplied we can say energy on wheels similarly it's a mobile plant as i mentioned whenever there is an emergency or a temporary basis diesel power plants can be obtained and supplied and it can be used as a stand by unit there are also emergency power plants and also nursery stations now going for the different equipments of the diesel power plant let us see what are the different elements of a diesel power plant as we have studied about steam power plant in diesel power plant also you have fuel tank then air intake system silencer compressor lubricating oil oil exchangers heat exchangers then also generator and cooling structures it is the entire working will almost be similar to your steam power plant now here generally the diesel engines is the main component for the diesel power plant why because the engines are directly coupled here to the gen generator so the engines may be four stroke or two stroke and we know that in a four stroke engine 
the cycle of operation is completed in four strokes that is two complete revolutions in a stroke uh, two stroke engines one revolution it will be done then there are different operations like compression exhaust all those things will be to be completed in two cycles or one cycle depending upon type of engine then we have engine fuel system wherein you have tank fuel storage transfer of this fuel then the different pumps are used in order to transport then engine air and engine exhaust system then also engine cooling system engine lubricating system finally engine starting system overall so we can say the in diesel engine is an internal combustion engine and which works on the principle of compression ignition so diesel engines works on the principle of com compression and ignition and they generate the electricity based on the principle of this hope you understood diesel power plant and its operation thank you